Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge, where we are putting on our lab coats and breaking out those petri dishes as we get ready to observe a very special crossbreed mix based off of our Red Lantern series. You guys, it's Noodle! Look at him! Look at those sweet eyes! Look at his beautiful coloring! It is our very good boy Noodle from the Red Lantern. And he's actually showing up today because I am so curious to see what happens when our boy Noodle might end up having some puppies with a certain wild wolf. That's right, you guys. In case you haven't seen the latest episodes of Red Lantern, let's just say that Noodle has a very interesting story to do with a wild wolf that he actually meets who is caught in a trap. And we're given a choice about what to do with that wolf. Should we set it free? Should we hunt it? Should we leave it in the trap? There are a lot of different options for the different paths that our adventures in the Alaskan wilderness can take us on in the Red Lantern. And one of them may lead to a Noodle our good boy Noodle actually ending up with a new friend! And I don't want to spoil too many things, but let's just say that the things that end up happening in Red Lantern, not only on the runs that you guys have already seen, but the runs that are coming up, blew my mind. I, by the end of it, really end up becoming a Noodle and Wild Wolf shipper, which I never thought I would say because that sounds really weird out of context, but it basically means my curiosity got the most of me. And where should we go when we have a very curious mind? To the laboratory, of course. So I really want to go ahead and see what would happen if Noodle ended up having some husky puppies with Canis Lupus, a wild wolf from Alaska. And this, my friends, is Vale. Look at her, she's so beautiful. She is actually based off of a wolf and a texture from, let me see if I can find them again, Liquid Ferret right here. So this is Liquid Ferret, which I thought was like an amazing username. And I just wanted to give them a little shout out for having created such an amazing creature. And we went ahead and we added a little bit of a darker coloring to Vale because she's actually a very dark wolf. If you pay attention to the detail of the wolves in the Red Lantern, they actually have a much darker coat than you would normally expect expect to see on a wolf and I'm pretty curious to see what happens if uh, we have that dark coat mixed with this adorable husky coloring not to mention noodle boys good fluffy cheeks just look at those I could just smush his little face between my hands and give him all the little kisses on his nose look at how cute he is and he is so kind so in case you guys don't know much about noodle from the red lantern he is a very lazy dog but he really really believes in helping any of the animals who were hurt. He doesn't like it when we're hunting and the caribou gets away even when we only shot it once and we didn't manage to hunt it for the team in time. He doesn't like to leave creatures in pain. He doesn't like to do extra hunting if we don't need it. And he absolutely does not like the idea of leaving this wolf veil caught in a trap. And so we're gonna start something very special with the laboratory because this is not going to be a one-off, my friends. Oh no, in the Red Lantern, Noodle ends up running into this wolf a few times. Like, let, I don't wanna spoil too much, but let's just say that the wild wolf ends up becoming a reoccurring appearance. And that is why I decided to name her Veil vale, because she made me think about how you might see something out of the corner of your eye that's just kind of veiled in a little bit of secrecy. And we're gonna say that Veil, vale, after we freed her from the trap, ended up following our team back to the cabin with the Red Lantern. And while I'm busy with the rest of my sled dogs and taking good care of them, occasionally Noodle runs off in order to go play with Vale. And as time goes on, it's quite clear that they've formed an extremely special bond. I don't think Vale would ever end up becoming tame enough to want to come and join our team of sled dogs in Red Lantern, but I do think that it would be very interesting to see what happens if she ended up raising some half husky, half wolf puppies. And this is where it gets pretty exciting, guys. If we ended up following those puppies through multiple generations here in the Labarkatory wilderness to see what they might become. So this is the beginning of a very special new wolf pack between Noodle and Vale. We're going to go ahead and have their puppies today and then we're going to pick one of their puppies to follow next time. Not in every Labarkatory episode, but every time that Noodle and the wolf clearly interact in the Red Lantern, 
I'm going to make a little mark on my notes and then we're going to follow that many generations of Noodle and the Wolf's offspring. We're going to pick our favorite offspring from each litter and then we are going to randomize what the offspring runs into. It might be a dog, it might be a husky, it might be another wolf, it might be a moose. So I want to see if we follow successive generations of Noodle's descendants in the laboratory what we would end up having them look like and what Noodle's wolf pack would end up looking like, say, in like 10 generations. So I'm really excited about that and I think it'd be a really fun way to kind of like weave together the story of Noodle and the wolves. And that's basically the goal today. But let's pull back from having, you know, flying moose antlered distant descendants of our husky in some future laboratory episode. And let's start with the first generation. As spring rolls around and it starts to warm up in Alaska, and I'm very busy, you know, trying to make sure that nobody eats the chickens I unfortunately did decide to add to the cabin. Well, Noodle's going to disappear into the wilderness and spend a little bit of time with a veil, and they're going to go ahead and have their puppies. Named after, of course, some of you guys, and it's really exciting to think that one of you guys might end up becoming the inheritor, the, the legacy heir to the next generation of wolves after this, who will like randomly breed with an animal that you might find in Alaska. But uh, let's go ahead and begin. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. All right, so let me pull up the random comments generator. As usual, if you guys want to have a chance to become one of these adorable little pets, all you need to do is go ahead and leave a comment and the random comments generator might pick you for a future legacy wolf, which would be really cool. But for now, Noodle, Vale, let's see your puppies. <gasps> Oh, look at you! Okay, red demon eyes, that happens on occasion, but I think we're gonna look mostly like mom over here, and this is actually going to be Sophie! So welcome, Sophie! And I'm very glad that you enjoyed the squirrel kittens. Those definitely will have to be something we try bringing on back. And Sophie is going to be aggressive. So does Sophie have what it takes to carry on our wolf legacy? You guys need to pick your favorite and we're going to be using that favorite as the heir. But I guess we definitely need to see what they grow up into first. Sophie is also very smart and very vocal. <gasps> Can you imagine the cute little puppy howling that she might be doing behind the cabin? That would be so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and get ready for the next pup. I guess we should go ahead and like Vale's the one giving birth. So we'll go work from her. And Vale, you're gonna go ahead and have a new puppy. Let me pull up the next name. Oh, look at you! You look a lot like your dad. Again, those red eyes that we have going on here. And this is actually going to be Emily. And Emily, I love the idea of trying to breed a mouse and a cat in our laboratory. It would probably be a huge mouse, but I'm pretty sure I could make something like that happen. And Emily, you are a jumpy vocal sleuth. So I wonder if Emily has what it takes in order to end up becoming the heir to this wolf pack. I mean, think about it. We do want to try to breed a creature, even in these wacky crossbreeds where we might end up breeding with a musk ox again, or a moose, or a deer. We do want to try to breed something that's strong enough to be able to survive out here in the Alaskan wilderness. So let's go ahead and welcome in the next little puppy. Ooh, wow, that would have been a cool one. Look at that purple eye. But let me get the next name from the random comment generator. And, oh, look at you. This is Angela, and Angela has all white fur. Oh, I can already tell that I, you guys might have a bit of a favorite because any of the white furred wolves are always very common. And no, Angela, even though you have white fur, you can't produce wool, I'm sorry. Oh, and Angela is aggressive, independent, and stubborn. So I wonder if she has what it takes to lead the pack. Oh, this must be so fun. Can you imagine how proud Noodle would be of his puppies? I think so far most of his puppies are turning out to be pretty wild. So I wonder if they're mostly going to take after their mom or if he might bring any of them back to the cabin. All right, Vale, Noodle, you have your next little one in just a second. Let me go ahead and get the next name and Oh, 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 this one actually did not inherit the, the correct coloring, I'm pretty sure. Let me, let me double check. We have a little boy whose name is going to be Toga. Hey, Toga, there you go. And Toga, you cannot give milk. I'm sorry, Toga. Still can't give milk. So sorry. Or bull. There we go. But you can be an active sleuth who is a glutton. And let me check Toga's coloration really quickly and see if that's 
a glitch. Looks like... Looks like it's a glitch, so I'm gonna roll some dice really quickly. Okay, so we're gonna actually randomize. Toge, you're actually gonna look like your dad. You picked up the wrong piece, so I need to find... Where is your dad's coloring? All right, let me find your dad's coloring real quick. Sorry, guys. I'm really paying close attention to this glitch lately because it really changes what might happen in our laboratory. And yes, sometimes you might have some genes really change, but let's see, let's see. Pretty, aha, there we go. But this is actually what Toga is supposed to look like. There we go, we cleaned him off. He had a little bit of mud on him. And this is what he looks like, very much like his dad. Oh, that's so freaking cute. All right, Toga, I'm, and he's really adorable. He's a little bit of a glutton, so I could totally actually see him showing up. Oh, <laughs> showing up at the cabin because he would want to eat some of the dog food that we have there. But let's go ahead and pull up the next baby. And now that we know what are actually the genes the dogs are supposed to be carrying, we can just randomize again if we get one who has a glitched gene. Like this one! This one is also one with a glitch gene. Now we know why they were always turning out to be like a few colors and not the really random variation we were expecting with the parents. So we're actually going to go ahead and randomize again. And again. And again. There we go! And now we don't have the glitch gene and may I welcome Singwing! Oh, that's such a pretty name. We actually have a Sophia again. So we have Sophie and then we... Sophia the Singwing? I'm gonna go with the Singwing part of your name because I think that's amazing. I think that actually might put you forward as a contender to inherit the wolf pack, actually. And she is friendly, smart, and independent. So look at her, Singwing, what a name. I really like that. And Singwing, doing a reindeer and a dragon, definitely on my list, absolutely. All right, let's go ahead and have the last little puppy. I'm kind of shocked. I feel like Vale is like, wow, this is, both more puppies than I thought it would have, and yet less. I think she's been looking forward to having puppies with Noodle for a long time now. All right, we ended up with one who looks like Dad, other than the demon eyes. And this is going to be Caitlyn. Caitlyn, welcome, welcome to the pack. And you are a friendly jumper who is very active. So Caitlin is like full of tons of energy. Should that be the kind of dog that we're looking forward to, to lead the pack? And also Caitlin, I like the idea of breeding a nine tails and a demon cat or a witch's cat and a dragon. Those would be really cool. It's really hard to breed the cats and any of the bigger animals because you can't really do that, but I will definitely try to find a way to make that work. All right. And now as Vale looks over her pack, being extremely proud and raising them in a small cave that she's found somewhat near the cabin, with Noodle dashing back and forth every day, both to help and to bring back treats that he has snuck from the cabin, time passes and the pups are gonna grow up. And which one of these pups do you guys think should inherit Noodle's pack and end up being the wolf to carry on his legacy? And next time we find a wolf in Red Lantern, result in actually having a new generation of his descendants born. Sophie, you're up first. Sophie, you basically look like your dad, but as a wolf, also you can't have a, a you literally cannot have a dragon tail, I'm sorry. I appreciate your enthusiasm, though. But we have red-eyed Sophie. So Sophie is very aggressive. She has a bit more size to her from that husky. And she is smart and vocal. So do you guys think we should go with Sophie? She looks very much like her mom, too. Pretty identical, except she has her dad's face and ears. And then we have Emily, who is a sleuth who is vocal and jumpy. She probably also... Oh, <gasps> Emily! I love her pointy ears. And I like how she ended up with a different nose. I think she ended up with her mother's nose. Wow, she's huge. I would let her pull my sled team any day. Like she is gonna get us places, like first place to win. <laughs> but I love her snout, oh my gosh. Like what trait from these two parents do we want to see passed on to future generations? Angela, you're up next. <gasps> Angela! Oh, she's really pretty. She's got an extra fluffy tail. Oh, look at her and that petite little nose. Oh, wow. I kind of love the idea of having a snowy white wolf maybe inherit this pack, but oh, what do you think? She is also stubborn and independent and aggressive. So I think she definitely takes after her mother more in personality and is ready to be a wild wolf. 
Oh, I would really love it. I mean, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Which one? Which one? And then Toga, who is a glutton, which makes me think that he... And he's an active glutton. So that makes me think he'd be a better sled dog. Oh, look at his face. He's got his dad's super kind face. Or do we want to go ahead and let Toga try to lead the pack? Even though he's like super friendly, maybe he could just be really kind and going around. Maybe he just gets treats from like musher teams that go by. And maybe he could end up being the one to crossbreed with future animals. All right, Singwing, you're up next with your beautiful silver fur. And look at Sing, dang it, we've got so many good choices. I think that Noodle and Vale should be 100% proud about all of their pups. Oh my gosh. I don't know which one to pick. And then finally, let's go with our friendly active jumper, Caitlyn. Ooh, that's a deep bark. And she looks like she could take on the wild too. Oh, I love them. All right, guys, who should it be? I'm kind of leaning towards Angela, but at the same time, Emily has a really distinctive snout. I would like her father's snout to be able to be inherited down the line, and Toga has such a kind face and kind eyes. Who do you think should go ahead and inherit the future of Noodles Pack? If you guys could, do please leave some comments letting me know and leave some likes for Noodle and Vale and their first little litter of puppies. And if you would like to follow us along on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye